These are always kick off like this, you know, so you should keep away. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, 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 Welcome to Rose's flat. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a journey. I'm going to go down to the lower world and converse with animal spirits. I'm going to do this on behalf of you. I'm going to take with you the question that you've prepared for me. Um, and on your behalf, I will talk to animal spirits and glean any information I can from them and bring them back to you at the end of the ritual. Um, just before I start, I'm going to do a few preparatory things. But before I do those, I should say, if any of you want to leave at any point, that's fine. I don't feel that like you have to stay here. And if any of you need the loo, it's just there <laughs> <coughs> in the hallway. But the door doesn't pull properly. So it doesn't shut quite properly. So not before you go in. Um, Shall we all just dance like we're in the seance? <laughs> no. We're not going to be talking to the dead or anything. <laughs> Okay. Um, can I have your question? Members of the jury. Two questions. I kind of broke the rules there, but that's okay. Do we have a protector for this site? What is it? Now, just so I know exactly what you mean, because um, I have to understand this. Um, for this site, do you mean this, this tower block? No, the, yeah. Yeah. the whole site. The whole site. The whole so site. it's the new development being yeah. built as well. Yeah. yeah. And a protector, do you mean someone looking over you or just. Someone guiding us and protecting us. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what is it? Do you mean who or what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I mean, in terms of the site, your main concerns, just so I know, so that when I'm talking to animal spirits, um, your main concerns is about moving out of here into the, the new site, or what's, how the new site's going to develop? No, this is a park. <coughs> Right. So even though we're in here, yeah, and others are in the new build, we are still, we're still a shield lot. park. It's right. It's shield park. So it's the whole so no community. Yeah. Here, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. It's a community. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's go. It's on. hot. It's, it's hot. hot. It's hot in here. No, I told you it was too hot. Should I turn that heating off? He wants the heat off now. Turn it off. It's too hot. But change the thermostat down. Yeah. No, we can't get the back of there. Just to the thermostat. Well, it's warm, isn't it? Right, I need to do a few preparatory things first. Mm. 
Oh, I thought she was taking his shoes off. What's the key, Danny? To make the jingle. He makes the jingle when he's dancing. Oh, there's Marie's on, isn't it?
Hi, that was a good journey. Yeah. Well, I used the uh, <coughs> I used the lifts here as a kind of imaginative point to to start my journey down. I started from the top floor, which is twenty. Is that twenty first floor? I travelled down. I got to ground floor. I just kept kept going down. And I got out. And uh, that's when the journey started. Um, I went into sort of caves, cave area, cave complex, and it was all very dark. I didn't see anything. Um, and then this moorhen came up, like this small wader bird. Moorhen came up. And I talked to it a bit in its own language. Um, and it wasn't very helpful. It just kept shrugging me off. Um, and then I went on and talked to a coot, which is very similar to a moorhen. Um, that didn't want to know as well, but they were kind of pointing me in the same direction. And I kept going down lots of, <coughs> it was very dark, I could hardly find my way, I was kind of touching the side. And I came to this pool, pool of water, and um, I met the, uh, the, the red grouse there, and he, he was pointing me into the pool. So I, I dived in the pool and I started swimming and I went out and it was out into an open lake. And I saw uh, the stag on the side. And none of these animals were really telling me anything. They were just, you know, I was still looking for the right animal. And I kept going. And then I, <clears throat> I, I carried on and there was a sort of um, quite a dense forest. And I walked up to the edge and I didn't actually go in, but around the edge there was a, a curlew. A, um, quite a small bird with a very long beak, um, and that was um, that was <clears throat> trying to fly, and it, it was it was flying away, and didn't really stay long enough for me to, to to talk to that. I mean, I tried calling it back, but no. And then um, <clears throat> and then I just stopped and rested, and I thought, well, if I stay in the same position, something might come up to me. And then the sparrowhawk flew down and landed on this gatepost behind beside me. A small bird of prey, and um, and so I called to it, and it just just sat there, and I knew it, it could talk to me because it, it it just stayed there for a long time, and that's when I started asking you the questions, and I had this question in my mind as well. I thought I'd just prompt it, and it um, it opened up one one wing, and uh, its feathers, its primary feathers, the main ones, were moving all independently. Um, and it was trying to fly at the same time, but it couldn't fly because they were all they were all moving sideways. It was quite quite bizarre. It was almost like they didn't work. And then it and then it started to uh, it started to shrink and get smaller and smaller. And then it jumped down on the ground and got smaller and smaller. And then I almost thought it was going to disappear and it hadn't really told me anything. Um, and then it started to grow sideways, like a, almost like a sausage shape. It was really, really weird. Um, but it still had all its feathers and everything, and its beak and its legs and talons. And it grew longer and longer and longer. Um, but I was thinking, that, that can't be a bird. That's, that's like, that's, that was almost like a stick or something. Um, and then it started to slide away like a snake. And then it got to, went to, I followed it for a bit and it went into a hole and disappeared. Um, and then the drumming stopped, and then that disappeared, so I thought, right, it's time to come back. So I came back up the lift, and came back to you. So <laughs> that was the story. Um, <clears throat> it's, it, to me, it felt like the, um, what, what made this, it was almost like what was uh, the, the feathers, were, they were the things that helped the bird to fly. The sparrowhawks fly. Without those working together, it wasn't going to work. And it's almost like these feathers weren't working together. They were all sort of separate. So that sparrowhawk could sig signify anything. It could, could signify you, all of you, the whole community. It could signify the sight. I don't know, but it felt like it was signifying you and these feathers were you. And you should really 
get as closeness as you can. And it was like they were saying, well, your protector is the group, in a way. That's the, that's the thing that's going to look out for you. And then it started shrinking. And I think it was shrinking because it couldn't combine itself. It couldn't, it couldn't stay, stay close-knit. And then it turned into something else, which obviously couldn't fly or anything. And then, and then it disappeared. So for me, that interpretation was, was your, your community and your group is your most valuable asset. And that's the thing that's going to be your, your protector. And it's, it's, um, it's nothing, it's not really a person, any individual or any kind of mystical animal or anything. It's, it's, it sounds quite straightforward, really. But quite, quite difficult as well to, to keep that. I don't know what to do think. <coughs> it seems to me like we are here at the moment. We're striving to get somewhere. And we can't put our finger on it. Right. If for years, we're a community yeah. of, of our group, yeah. TA, we say. And we're trying so hard to try and get everybody. everybody but join. we can't pull them together. Right. They seem to be... They either don't want to, or it's too much trouble for them, and so that's our stri That's my opinion right. of it, really. We just can't get them together. Right, and is that? And I don't think we ever will. <coughs> is that just because of few individuals, or? It's a, well, majority I would go really? and say myself. We just can't. We just can't. Yeah. It's always been separate in things, yeah. and we've tried hard to keep together, but there's only just a few of us yeah. do maintain that togetherness. That's my opinion of it. And I don't think we'll ever be any different. Right. Myself. But it sounds like, yeah, the group you have got, you can get that to stick together. We are together. It's yeah. our group. We are a tightness in ourselves. But we can't, it doesn't matter how we try or what we do, we just don't seem to be able to get everybody together. Really. Yeah. Well, I think that was, that was kind of a thing that was, was happening because it was getting smaller. And it was, it wasn't, it was, um, I think the fact that you're trying is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And to, to think that right, we'll never achieve this, it's not about achieving the whole group. It's about just keeping trying and to keeping trying to include people. And if they come, they come. If they don't, yeah. they don't. But the you keep trying. Moment, yeah. So. Well, that sounds quite positive, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Well, I know, well, I'm moving me like sitting down. I've got to do that. He fell over before.